lighthearted. Um, I know you noticed that, of course, as always, Zach and Ada look absolutely stunning. And I'm not exactly underdressed for a coffee shop, but the reason is I actually turned 21 on Wednesday, so... And I'm spending half of my birthday weekend with you guys, which I've actually done pretty much every year since I started the tights. So I, I'm not... I'm not, I'm not ashamed. So what I decided to do, just like I had the amazing poets who were in my workshop earlier do, is I actually sat for a moment and I wrote a few love letters to myself. I wrote, I'm 21, so I wrote 20 love letters to myself. And I hope you liked them. One. I am an incredibly person. I am incredibly proud of the person you have become. You are a beautiful baby. And I hope when you look back, you will think so too. Two, when you look back, remember how loved you are by your mother and by your father and by me. Remember how the pictures frame your face and remember, I think and I always have and will, that you're beautiful. Three, it's called a baby. She's your sister, and believe me, you will love her unconditionally like she will love you. She will be your sidekick and your partner, and sometimes she will be your hero. Four, I miss the ocean too. But I promise the sun loves just as much, if not more. The desert isn't so bad. Five, speak up. You're a lot smarter than you think you are. And I am so proud of you for that. I've always been proud of you and there is nothing wrong with admitting sometimes you like to do things your way because you think you can do them better. Six, they're called friends and they're important and you deserve them and they will write on every page of your book how quickly you can run and be proud of the talents you have. Everyone else is. Seven, people love you. Love yourself. Eight, I'm sorry. Tragedies shouldn't overshadow happiness. Do not let your tragedies ever overshadow your happiness. Sing happy birthday more often. Nine, you don't like fishing, and this is okay. You like riding your bike too quickly down desert riverbeds, and you like baseball. Be proud of that. They make you different. Woo! Ten, your teacher loves dolphins and poetry. You will love poetry. More importantly, you will love. Eleven, I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you swing set chains aren't meant to hurt and that running could save you. I wish it had made a difference that you weren't alone. I promise not everyone loves so violently. Twelve, I'm sorry. Growing pains are not easy, but they're worth it. Thirteen, love the way your hands hold pencils. The way they write love letters. Hold your own hands through anxiety sometimes. Don't break them. They need you. Fourteen. Love hurts. It doesn't get easier. But you will learn to love like I love you. First loves hurt the worst. I know that. But you have survived so much more. And I know you will survive this. Love yourself first. Fifteen. Pictures last forever. You might not like them, so smile anyway. Sixteen. No, you do not need math later. <laughs> no, this does not mean you can quit. Keep your head up. Seventeen. Watching love die is hard. Especially love that isn't yours. They will still love you, I promise. Eighteen. Yes. You spent your birthday reading poetry. And I am proud of you for not being ashamed of that. Nineteen. No. Working is not fun. Amen. No. You cannot quit. 
There are people that depend on you. Be strong for them. Twenty, you've made it this far. I'm proud of you, and I know you're going to be fine.